Dallos kiss and Cowpen's tear. You are there, but I am here. <laughs> Let's add some custom potion recipes to Minecraft. Forging fabric courses with advanced topics such as entities, custom structures, and 3D armor models linked in the description below. Oh, right, we found us back and tell you once more. In this tutorial, we're going to be adding custom potion recipes to Minecraft. Now, this will require, once again, some mixin. So this is very interesting. You're actually going to need some mixin for this, but you will see that it actually is very much easier than you might expect still. So in our mixin package, we're going to make a new Java class and specifically a new interface, which is going to be called the Brewing Recipe Registry Mixin. Now, this is going to mix the following class. So we're going to say mixin, add mixin here, the brewing recipe registry dot class. There you go. And we're just going to add the static void. And this is going to be called the invoke register potion. Oh, making sure that, that we actually write this correctly. Register potion recipe. And this is going to have three parameters. The potion, which is the input. This is the thing that we put at the bottom. The item. This is going to be the item that we, well, I mean, put at the top. And then we have the potion, which is the output which is, of course, the thing that, well, we're going to output, basically, and then import this right here. Here, we're just going to throw a new assertion error. Now, the reason why we're doing this is because this should, in theory, never be called. And, I mean, yeah, pretty much, if everything works correctly, this should never be called. And we also need to add the add invoker, register, potion, recipe. There you go. And that should pretty much be everything we need here. Now, of course, very important that we also add this to our mixin JSON right here. So let's actually copy the name here, go into our mixin JSON, and this will be added to the normal mixin. There you go. And after we've done this, we can now go into our potion, to our mod potions, and we're gonna basically add this to the mod potions as well. So after they are registered, we basically just are gonna add a private static void called register potion recipes right here. And here we're just gonna say brewing recipe registry mixin dot invoke register recipe and then we're gonna say potions dot awkward mod items dot let's say let's do the mithril ingot here in this case just for as an example and then out comes the mod potions dot freeze potion there you go now we're just calling this right here so we're gonna say register potion recipes and that's it that is it that is pretty much all we need to do here all of our potions and once again and then the recipe here is created for all three types of potions lingering the throwing the splash potion and the normal potion as well yeah that's actually how easy it can be but for completion's sake let's see if it works all right friends us back in minecraft so let's just put this down let's add this and let's put the mithril ingot here and you can see it's already starting which is of course always a very good sign so some sort of recipe has been added now let's hope that we're not getting the uncraftable potion but we will actually get the proper potion here you can see awkward potions of course are at the bottom here so let's see and we get our freeze potions there they are so everything working exactly like you would expect it to and i mean that's pretty much how easy it is to add custom potion recipes to minecraft like always of course all of the code is available to you in the description below get a repository and individual gist as well but that would already be it for this tutorial right here i hope you found this useful and you learned something new if you did i would very much appreciate a like and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials just like this one. I also want to thank all of my lovely Patreon supporters for supporting me and this channel. It is very much appreciated. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. So, yeah.